Well, most of us probably wouldn't get very far and would be putting ourselves in danger if we just jumped in a lake and swam until we couldn't swim anymore. But for one dog who splashed into Lake Michigan, getting to shore was the only option. Rhonda Walker has the story. A dog from Illinois who was visiting here with her family over the weekend has quite the adventure in northern Michigan to tell. In less than 24 hours, Riley, this 10 month old Belgian Malinois, went from falling off of a boat and getting lost in Lake Michigan to thankfully being reunited with her family. Riley's adventure started in Frankfurt on Sunday morning as she and her owners, Ed and Kristen Cassis, left the harbor toward the Mantu Islands. They were about six miles out and were having some electrical problems, forcing Kristen to head up top while Ed stayed in the cabin. In retrospect, I remember her coming out here to see where I was going. And my poor assumption was that she would go back into the cabin with her dad. About 10 minutes went by when Ed realized Riley wasn't with him. We assumed that she, she went overboard, did a mayday call uh, for a dog overboard. Several fishermen and even the Coast Guard in Frankfurt helped the couple search for their pet for several hours, but no luck. That's when Lynn Feeder heard what was happening. Her husband was one of the fishermen out searching. He called me because he said he heard a distress call come out from Ed and Kristen saying that their dog had gone overboard. She runs the Lost Dog Search Team and uses social media to track them down. She posted the search on Facebook and soon hundreds of people were keeping their eyes out for Riley. We ended up having over 20,000 people look at our post online. And really when I saw that, I was like, yeah, we're going to find the dog. Comments came in Monday morning saying the dog was spotted near the Platte River campground. Ed and Kristen headed out there and talked to campers who saw her. Our optimism grew and uh, we found her in like 15 minutes. In all? It's estimated that Riley swam close to six miles to shore and then traveled more than a dozen miles by foot. Ed and Kristen say that they are so thankful for everyone who played a role in helping to get their Riley back to them. They're also very thankful to the Leland Harbor Master who apparently let them use his truck to drive to the campground where they found their dog. Back to you. My well, not, not that Riley needed it, but they do make those life vests. That's for, true for, for dogs. dogs that have like a little handle on them in case they go overboard. You can pick them up. But Riley, but Riley would scoff. <laughs> I don't need no stinking life <laughs> vest. Know, six miles. Belgian Malinois. I've never heard of that before either. Looks That's like a German breed. Shepherd to me, but he's a good looking <laughs> yeah, dog. A good swimmer.